everyone, this is Melissa the Stamp Doc. Today I'm going to show you a new card project made with the Hello Ladybug stamp set and the Coordinating Ladybug Punch. We're going to be making this easel card and you'll be able to mail this flat like this, but then when the recipient receives it, they'll be able to pop that up and it can go on display just like this. So it ends up looking like a little display easel. So we're going to be using the punch to create this one and then we're going to be doing a little fussy cutting here and I'll show you some of my tips for that. So let's get started and I'll show you just how easy this type of card is to make. Just start with our paper trimmer and this is a must-have tool. So if you don't have this already, I definitely recommend that you add it to your next order. And we're just going with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of the Daffodil Delight cardstock. And I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter inches. So I'm just gonna line it up there. And my dark blade on here is my cutting blade. So I'm just gonna slide that across. And then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna score this at two and three quarter inches. And your scoring blade is on here also, so I'm going to go ahead and score that at two and three quarters, and then also at five and a half inches. And this is all the cutting and scoring you need to do to create a basic easel card. So I'm just gonna fold that, and then you're gonna fold that line, and you can see where that basic shape comes from. So it's just super easy to do. So now that we have our basic card base done there, I want to go ahead and stamp the little floral image on the background just to give it a little interest. So I'm taking my stamp, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my block and I'm going to use a Daffodil Delight ink pad. Now you could also do this with Versamark. It's gonna give you that same tone on tone look. So feel free to use whichever you have. So I'm just gonna stamp this very randomly on the background. It's one of those just little extra things that you can do to give your card just a little texture and interest. So we're gonna be covering up most of this, but I wanna make sure that the part that is showing has something on there. So we're just gonna get those randomly all over just like so, okay? Again, just an easy technique to create that texture. So next I wanna do the images that are gonna go on the front of the card. So I'm gonna do our little ladybug and we're going to do our flower image. And we're also going to do our large leaf image. And I'm just putting those down. So the stamping side is down. I do have my pad underneath there because when you do the photopolymer stamps, you do want to make sure you've got that cushion underneath. So we're going to go ahead and ink these up with three different colors. So I'm going to start with the black on this little guy. And I'm going to put some yellow on our flower. We're going to do Granny Apple Green on our leaf. Oops, and our leaf just decided to stick to our pad there. So let's see if we can get him stuck down a little better. There we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and ink that up. We're going to give those a good press. And more than likely, I'm gonna to wanna to do at least two passes on this. So we're gonna do one more. And this is one of the things I love about the Stamparatus because I can stamp these over again and I'm gonna get an even darker color. All right, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to take those off. I'm just going to set those into my 
container here while I'm finishing. And I'm also going to add the little center to the flower. And there's a stamp to color the ladybug body. So I'm gonna get him on there too. Just wanna line those up. And with them being photopolymer, it makes it really nice because you can see exactly where those are gonna go. So let's grab our black for our flower center. red for the body of the ladybug. Alright, we'll get both of those done in one pass. I'm going to do one more of each. Again, this is just one of those perks of using these photopolymer stamp sets with the Stamparatus because you can just go over these a couple of times. Now these two I'm gonna fussy cut out, but this one actually fits our small daisy punch. So it does cut a little bit off. If you want the full flower, um, go ahead and cut that out with your scissors. But we're just going to hold that upside down so we can see right where that image is. Give it a little pop. And there we go. We've got our perfect little flower ready to go. I'm just gonna set him over here because we'll be ready for him in a little bit. And let me clean these off. So I wanna show you a little trick that you can do to cut these small or to stamp these really small greetings like this. So I've got this You Can Bug Me Anytime and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that directly onto my grid paper. Now you can buy this grid paper, um, actually both of these, you can buy the large grid paper and the small grid paper to go in here um, in my online store. So I will link to those in the description. But then what I'm gonna do is just put this little thin one quarter inch strip over that. I'm gonna lay that down. And then this way I can actually make sure that this is lined up and it's going to be on there completely. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that. And I've got that stamped perfectly. So I'm just gonna trim that down with my scissors and then the rest of that will fit on there just great. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tips for working with our punches and getting your stamped images lined up perfectly. So I'm going to just go ahead and punch this piece. So I've got my Whisper White cardstock. I've got it turned upside down. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it right here. I like to stamp right in the middle because that way I can really make sure that I've got a good image on that. So I'm going to start by putting this image of the ladybug right here. And he is going to be in the black. So we are going to do just him. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna make sure it lines up right. So I'm gonna just stamp it pretty lightly, just directly on my paper. And that way, if I need to adjust that at all, I can actually move it around a little bit. But it looks like that's gonna show up perfectly in there. So now that piece that I punched out, I'm gonna put it back in place. And this time I'm going to ink it up for real. Now, especially on these solid image stamps, this is why I really love working with the Stamparatus because I can definitely make sure that all of those nooks and crannies are gonna get filled in. So I'm gonna peel that off and we're gonna stamp that again. So, and I don't have to worry about lining that up perfectly again because as long as I keep it in that punched hole, it's going to be just perfect. All right, so we've got him on there. Let's see how this looks. And look at that. See how perfect that is? All right, so our next part on this is to do the little wings. And these get done in red. 
So again, we're going to line those up. We're going to get them right into that space. And really what's nice is you can kind of feel like a little groove for that. But I like this much better than trying to line up the punch with this. Okay, that looks perfect to me. So I'm gonna put my wings back in there. Do that. And then what I can do is I can punch out even more of these just on a blank piece of paper. And I'll have the white pieces and I'll just keep putting those into the template when I'm making a bunch of these. Line that one up, make sure he's in there good. Make sure he's in there the right way. There we go. Get that on there. And again, we've got that stamped really nicely. And now I've got to do the little dots, or I could leave it plain. I could do either one. But I want to do the black dots on it. So we're going to See where those go. And again, we're gonna put that, make sure all those are covered. Perfect. And yeah, I made a bunch of these cards for swaps. So if you saw my group photo, you might be wondering why I made a bunch of these. I did this as a swap card. And so I had just punched out a lot of these pieces and just did one in here at a time as I was going. So it made it um, a lot quicker to get that done. Now I may touch this one up just a little bit because it looks like the dots on this side I got a little bit off. So yeah, it's not too bad though. But I did get a little off on that. So there's a little white showing, but I can just go in there with a black marker and I can touch that up if I want to. But that's my cute little tip for using that ladybug punch with the stamp. So I hope you like that. Now that we have all of our card elements together, I fussy cut these out. Um, we're going to put it together. So I'm gonna speed this part up.